guys, welcome back, it's Shelby, and today I am trying to make this face a little bit more pretty, um, a little bit more glam. I'm going to be adding crystals. You may have caught my earlier Borax crystal videos. If not, I'll link them. Go ahead and check them out. They're a good time. Um, but basically, all you're going to need is a vase, Borax, which I will link below because I don't have the box with me, and pipe cleaners to give the crystals something to form onto. But uh, yeah, I'll link everything you need down below so you can get it along with my socials. And uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. We'll get right into it. Okay, guys, so first steps is I'm making a lattice with my pipe cleaners. I just chose white. Um, it's just clear glass, so with white crystals, I thought that'd be pretty. Basically, just because they're fuzzy, it gives the borax something to kind of cling on to when it's growing into crystals. Um, so what I'm going to do is I kind of want my crystals to be kind of down here. It's the bottom part, so I'm just going to wind these around in... Um, little shapes and you know give my crystal something to hold on to maybe like poke them out a little bit I don't know that could be fun to like make tiny little crystals out like that nothing huge just like yeah I think I'll do that I like that so I'll do that with all of them I'm basically just twisting these around together um, you know pretend you're seven and playing with pipe cleaners again it's basically the same thing Now I have a big long, I don't even know how many pipe cleaners I have, three, six. I have six of them. And they stretch almost fingertip to fingertip, which means they're a little over, they're about five feet. So they're about a foot each. No, they're not, there's six of them. They are not a foot each. Math. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to, I wanna make sure it's below the crystal line though, because if I put it up here, and no crystals go up there, you're gonna see pipe cleaner and it's gonna look weird. Um, so I'm just gonna keep them nice and low and then just kinda secure them. A little twisty, twisty in there and push it up until it's solid. Yeah, just like that. Basically what I'm going to do is put a pot of water on the stove, bring it to a boil, put this in at the bottom so that you know it's flat on the bottom, pour all my borax in and stir until no more will dissolve. Just keep pouring it in, don't bother measuring it, um, just stir and boil. And then when no more will dissolve and the water's pretty hot, just turn off the heat, let it sit overnight. Um, you might want to check it every couple of hours to make sure it's working. If it's not working, there's not a whole lot you can do, but um, you know, at least you'll know early. And then hopefully by tomorrow morning, wonderful crystal vase. But tomorrow morning I have to get up and go to work, so I won't check it till tomorrow afternoon, basically. Um, but tomorrow afternoon, hopefully, wonderful crystal vase. Okay, so I have my water in the pot. I turned on the heat, so hopefully that will heat up soon. And then I put my vase in there. The water level is a little high, but I think that's okay. Also, the water in the pot doesn't quite cover the pipe cleaners, but when I get done pouring all the borax in, the water level is going to rise quite a bit. And if not, I can always pour in a little bit more water, so I'm not super worried about it. But I'm going to get this boiling and then add my borax. Okay, it's boiling. I am going to reduce the heat a little bit and then just start pouring in everything that'll fit. and I haven't even stirred it. Okay, definitely need more of that. I'm going to turn the heat back up again, though. Okay, so I was stirring it. It's not really getting any more clear. You can see in the light there, still lots floating around. It's Basically, the temperature's back up. It's like a very slow boil in there. So I'm thinking not a whole lot more is going to dissolve, which is perfect because we're nearing the top of the pan anyway. So I'm going to turn off the water and let it cool where it is, not touch it um, till tomorrow, basically. Nice, I can already tell that's gonna look awesome. So basically just 
some water. to wiggle this free. So the vase actually came out of the crystal layer, but that's okay because check out how dirty that is. It's got some crystallizing water from where it splashed up. So I'm going to get that clean in hot water without destroying the crystal base. I'm just going to pull this out and let this dry. It still slides on really easily. Um, it's kind of waterlogged and delicate right now. Um, I was able to break that chunk off pretty easily. So I'm going to let this dry out and harden and then clean that and glue them together so that they have the look I want. But I do have these really cool, um, just crystally chunks, like that's awesome. So like I said, they're waterlogged, they need to dry out to like really get cool, but um, there's a lot in there, so this would be great. All right guys, checking in. So my vase is clean. The crystals ended up coming off the vase, which ended up being perfect because I had some of the uh, water splash up when I was putting the crystals, kind of making them form in the water and it got the jar dirty, and there's no way to really wash that off without heating the water up, which would have destroyed the crystal. So then popping off was perfect because I was able to clean my jar uh, slash vase. So um, I just let the crystals dry. It does look like they shrunk a little bit. They don't go quite up the jar as much as they did, but they're flush with the bottom, so it's still totally perfect. So all I'm going to do is connect them with a little bit of E6000. I can open it. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to be putting a little bit on the inside, just kind of run it around the rims. It's actually pretty solid on the inside. There's not a whole lot of spaces here, not so much. So yeah, just a little bit of glue here and there just to keep it together on the glass. The crystal slipped off the glass really easily. I'm thinking it's just too smooth for them to adhere to, but it ended up working out even better this way, so I'm not even at all mad at it. Here we go, that should be more than enough. Pop that down. And theoretically, this does need 24 hours to dry, but I'm just gonna hold it by the crystal so that it doesn't slip off. How cute is that? That turned out really well. So turned out a little bit differently than I thought it would, but in the end, the finished product is basically the same, and I love it. I hope you do too. Let's see if we can get the uh, contrast a little better. It's late at night, so I don't have a whole lot of uh, natural lighting coming in here, but you can see. That's really cool. That is really cool. So totally awesome. Love that. Look how cool that is. This turned out great. I will put some photos up at the end, but if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing, and I will see you here soon. Bye for now.